Back in April 2021, myself and Blue Bear became the world's fastest speedrunners for the Diamond Casino Heist Silent and Sneaky Approach on console, with a time of 39 minutes and 24 seconds. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we did it and how you can speedrun it too. This will primarily be a two-player guide, but obviously the strats will work even better with more players. So without further ado, this is how you speedrun a Silent and Sneaky Diamond Casino Heist in under 40 minutes. The first thing you need to do is have the 8-bit arcade in West Vinewood. You then want to park your terabyte right outside the arcade until you get the blue circle, meaning you can get inside it. You then want your teammate to be waiting right outside the casino and have them call up Ron, Simeon or Madrazo to request a job. Hey, what's up? As host, make sure you're an MC so you can call in your Mark II oppressor much faster and have it ready and waiting outside your arcade. When you're all set, start the Vault Contents mission. Okay, here we go. For some reason, having an 8-bit arcade means that the security guard will always be at the Galileo Observatory, which is just up this hill. Should have a member of Duggan's security team using his phone signal. Kill the guard of your Mark II. Oh, shit, he's on to you. And then collect the phone. Hack if you can. You might need to put him down. As soon as the phone has been collected, all players will get a wanted level, meaning that you cannot enter the casino until it's gone. Make your way over to the casino. This is when the player at the casino accepts a job that they requested earlier. Shit, he's on to you. Try and complete the hack if you can. They then immediately back out, which will cause them to lose the cops instantly and they can enter the casino. Bring up your phone and locate the hacking area. Bring out your phone and search for a Wi-Fi signal we can piggyback on. That's it, you've got it. I'm in the system now. You only have a limited amount of time. Find what's in that room. You might find something we can use to our advantage. Find the target. Ah, what's that look like? Back out and leave. It's too much currency, so we'll still need to launder it through a buyer. By now, the host should have lost the cops by going in and out of the terabyte. The contents flipping glitch is active again after the release of the diamonds. So if you want a new target, have the host call Lester and cancel the heist before leaving the area. Ah, if it isn't my creepy silent friend. Ah, what's that look like? The green stuff, huh? Yeah, it's too much currency, so we'll still need to launder it through a buyer. Shouldn't be hard though. Head back to the arcade when you're ready. Ideally, for a proper speed run, you want artwork as it's the fastest to collect and run with. The host should now be waiting outside of the arcade for the mission to be complete in about three minutes. Now select your silent and sneaky approach, then choose Carl Abalaji for guns, carrying dens for vehicles, and Paige for hacking. Select the Sentinel Classic cars and start the mission. Okay, let's get your getaway vehicles. From now on, a lot of your missions will be heavily dependent on RNG. So the first prep you want to do is vehicles, and you want to get the Sentinel Classics. There are four main saucer missions for these vehicles. If you're lucky enough, you may get the Cops one, which is pretty quick and straightforward. Run in. Drive out with the cars. And where possible, avoid getting a wanted level as you cannot deliver them with any stars. If you do have cops, try and lose them on the way back to the arcade. Or drop your vehicle at the arcade entrance, hop into your terabyte, then back out again to lose the cops. If your teammate has already lost the cops, jump out and let them deliver it. If you have the valet prep at the hotels, now there should be a uniform for you in the back. Simply wait for each one to arrive. Okay, okay, act natural and let them get out before you take it. You don't want them suspecting anything is up. Patience, let them leave before you tear off in that thing. Get in and drive them back. Bring it back to base. And if you have the races prep, wait for them to come back, 
kill surrounding NPCs, and drive them back to your arcade. I can't wait to see your park in my lair. The fourth mission has the vehicle surrounded by guards that you need to kill before stealing. This one would definitely be the slowest if you get the Palato Bay location. While we're on the topic of Palato Bay, there is a way to prevent certain missions from spawning. What you need to do is call in a vehicle, like your Sparrow or a Pegasus vehicle, and park it right where the mission spawn location is. For example, the MC Biker Clubhouse in Palato Bay where the weapons prep spawns, or this location for the vehicles prep. However, this takes a lot of time to set up and you need extensive knowledge of every likely location for each prep, and therefore should only be done if you're planning on beating world records. For prep 2, you want to start the weapons SMG loadout. Right, so your weapons. We don't want anything that can be traced back to us, so we're going after a little import-export operation off the coast. The mission we had was hijacking a plane over the Palomino Highlands area. Ignore the yellow dot and look for the guards of your home in yourselves. It must be a little late to the party. I should go ask them nicely where they stash the guns. Land on the plane and return your Mark II. Then fly the plane to Sandy Shores Airfield. This can be done solo, so the host can wait outside the arcade, ready to start the next prep. The benefit of this prep is that the next mission you start is likely to be around the Sandy Shores area. Another prep you may get could be at Cypress Flats or Palato Bay, where you need to kill a load of hostile bikers and then grab their weapons before delivering them to your arcade. An alternative prep is the noose vans, where you have to find which one is carrying the weapons. Shoot a missile at the truck and it will show whether they have the weapons or not. When she found them, shoot a load more to blow up the truck. you'll be able to whisk them away on your oppressor. This mission could be in Blaine County or the city. Prep mission three is the vault key cards. Your teammates should start by hovering around the prison, but if the mission is not here, they can take a short trip to the motel close by. When it's your time, we're gonna need two key cards to get into the vault access tunnel. Luckily for you, I know where to find them. Or if you're unlucky, all the way back in the city. One mission involves one player getting into a nearby motel, while the other player does something similar in the city. Burst in and surprise him with his pants down. Kill this dude. Nice. Oh. You got one. Now get the other. And steal his card. Great, you've got them both. An alternative mission you may get is similar to this, only both key cards are in the city. You come back to the planning room. This one here was completed in just 56 seconds. If it is the prison, completely ignore the game's instructions and just home and missile a few guard towers until you find the keycards. Then land. Grab the cards. And get out. Great, you got them. Now get the hell out of there. The 
mission is complete once the cobs have been lost. As you're both now back in the city, start up the drone parts mission next. The first rule in the art of war is to know your enemy. This one is pretty straightforward. Home and missile the drones and any close guards. Then hover over the parts for a second until you collect them. then simply deliver them back to the arcade. This mission should be done in about three minutes. For prep five, start the hacking prep. You remember I directed your attention to some keypads. If your clothes do not change to suits, you have the server farm prep. Start by searching this area outside the FIB building and outside the nearby city hall. If your homing missiles lock on, you know it's here. If not, it's be outside the Davis city hall. Kill the guard and take his access card. You motherfucker! We're taking out an agent to get into a government facility to get a hack for the keypads at the casino. I hope that's clear to everyone. Makes perfect sense to me. Then lose the cops on the way to the server farm. Bring up your phone and locate the case. And try not to get spotted. No! Alright, well, I guess some heat was to be expected. Then leave and deliver it. Head back to the arcade. You might remember I directed your attention to some keypads when you were looking around the casino. The other type of mission is one of three locations in a city where you kill the cops and pick up their security pass. You got those security passes one way or another. Head to the FIB building through security and take the elevator to the upper floors. Then get to the FIB building. Holy hell! All players must have picked up a pass for anyone to be allowed access to the FIB building. It'll be somewhere around. One player goes in while the other waits at the entrance. They should bring up their phone to help locate the crate. Pick it up and exit. The other player can then kill the guards and escape. You will always get a wanted level when you start to exit, so killing them now makes it easier. Escape the cops using the terabyte. As before, if the player with the hacking device still has cops, they can kill themselves and drop it, leaving it for the other player to deliver. Prep 6 is the Vault Lasers. If we want to get in that vault silent and sneaky, we're going to need a military grade laser. There are two types of preps for this one. One is picking them up from the military at one of two locations, either at Elboro Heights or at Grand Sonora Desert. It's best to kill as many military as possible before diving in as they are pretty brutal. One laser would be on a crate, while the other would be inside the cargo bob. Like you then need to lose the cops and deliver them to the arcade. Unless one of you idiots gets in the way. The other option is going to either the military base or the Palmer Taylor power station, where there will be Avon's clones as well as a juggernaut. Blow them all up from a distance, as getting too close can mean instant death from the juggernaut's minigun. Go inside the building, kill a few more, then pick up the lasers and deliver them back to the arcade. Very nicely indeed. For prep 7, you now just need to buy the level 2 pass. Don't say another word, 
They're on it. None of the other optional preps are needed. And now you're ready for the finale. For the finale, you want Staff Lobby, Staff Lobby and High Buyer. Do not waste your time and money on the other two options. Done it before. Let's do it again. Okay, so we're going in through the side door. I hope you brought your A-game because you're not getting a warm-up. Drive over there and I'll be in touch. It's a straightforward drive to the casino and hitting curb boost where you can will help. Just how we like it. Drive straight past the yellow bollards and scan the card. Stun gun yet? This is going to be your best friend. It'll overload the circuits on any CC. You want to be in first person before the casino cutscene. That's it. Head through the door to the staff lobby. Take out the first two guards and the camera. You need to find the fuse box on the side of the unit. Take it out with a stun gun. Then straight to the accessible door to swipe. Killing the next two guards on the way. Take out one more camera and they'll know something's up. You can't Doing this bit fast enough means you can then take out the next guard away from the camera. Melee attacks work a treat as they are wearing helmets. Heads up, CCTV ahead. The stun gun should disable the camera for a while. Or go old school and time your run. Swipe the next door and then run down the stairs. The stun gun should disable the camera for a while. Knocking out the guard on the way. Time your run. Ignore all the cameras and keep running down. Today's takings are stored near where you are. One guard then swipes the door at the bottom while the other one right and then left to knock out the next guard. Then pops the two at the desk. And in the security room, the other runs through and grabs. Both run straight through and swipe their key cards. Okay, here we are at last, the lower level. Naturally, it's heavily guarded. Alright, the camera just went down. It'll be back online soon. And remember, if you bring down too many at the same time, they'll hit the alarm. Back into third person and jump to go faster. That's your You're so close. See that? Get everyone inside the man trap now. I can keep the first door open until you're set. Happy days. I know this is a special moment for you down there, but trust me, it's about to get a lot more special on the other side of that door. Break out the laser drill, let's do this! When drilling, tapping the button hard and then releasing it quickly is a little bit faster than holding it and letting the laser cool down. Don't rush. If you push the drill too hard, it'll overheat. We're not on a time limit until we're inside. Okay, right side's all done. Both players will need to be good at hacking. Hacking is really all about practice and memory. I've linked a previous video on how I got my fastest hack in under 10 seconds in the description below. Sensors while you're in the vault, but only for a while. If the system goes quiet for too long, it triggers the alarm as a failsafe. And uh, did I mention that if the alarm goes off in here, they'll flood the place with nerve agent? No? Okay, well, I'm mentioning it now. Again, jumping in the vault is faster than running. Once you've got all your content, swipe the cards. Perfect, perfect. People, that is the mother load. <laughs> we cleaned them out. And jump through the man trap. There is a notorious bug here where the alarm will trigger after you've gone upstairs if you knock out or kill the guard at the desk. To avoid this, go into first person and hug this wall on the right. Use the aim function to make precise movements. You know, if we pull this off, it'll be the crown all the way to the right the hardest achievement on the console of life and then leg it up the stairs you did good down there 
First person here means you'll be almost twice as fast going up the stairs as you would be in third person. <laughs> Listen up, we have bad news. Run straight into the office and knock out the first guard. They did a spot check on the vault so they know what's been robbed. The good news is they have no idea who or how. <laughs> and straight into the lobby and out the back. Still make it out undetected if you do exactly what I say. If you're caught now, the shit really hits the fan. Turn immediately right when you exit. Remember, they know the vault's been hit, but they don't know who you are. And knock out this news guard. They have patrols sweeping the whole place, and all the civilians have been evacuated. There are different ways you need to move depending on what target you have. With artwork, first or third person running is the quickest. With cash or diamonds, it's jumping in third person. And with gold, it's running in first person. Follow this route on the bank and then round to the front side of the clubhouse. Sometimes your Sentinel Classic will spawn across the street right out in front. If they do not spawn or an NPC car arrives first, then steal that. Do not shoot the driver, because if you miss, it will spook them and they'll drive off. Now drive straight to the Vinewood Police Station and look up on the roof to see if the tail of a helicopter is there. If it's not there, then do a lap around the block until it spawns. Climb up and then use first person here to be more accurate on the ledges, but also hopping up faster than in third person. Get in the chopper and fly to the drop off. On occasions, driving will be a little bit faster, but the helicopter escape is way more consistent. All locations are just far enough away to lose the cops just in time for you to hit the last checkpoint and complete the heist. Alright, you're good. Get to the buyer. And there it is, silent and sneaky completed in under 40 minutes. So why don't you give these tips a try and let me know in the comments how you got on. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown and I'll see you in the next one.